everyone so today we're going to build the login page um, so right here as you can see when we hover it there's a background shadow something like that and it is responsive if we take it in a phone view so this is completely responsive all right so let's get started so here I'm using VS code so you can use whatever you want I start from scratch and this is the image that we need so if you want to code along you can download the image I leave the link in the description so you can download it and code along with me alright so here the HTML I'm laying it with CSS alright so here what we will need this is just one page right here so then I'm gonna put in header and then we am this is one div as well so I'm call it main header alright so then in main header we have the login and we have the h0 for the bar and we have the h3 for the message I don't know what it's called uh, welcome to really web coding oops I spell it and then I'm gonna put the paragraph and then I put input here because I want it to be display blocks. So I'm gonna place holder username. So maybe I can zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it. Alright, so username and we need one more. Um tap text. I think yeah, you can do the like type passwords. And then placeholders password. And then one more is button. And I'll continue. Alright, so I think that's it, I guess. Alright, let me go and rerun it. Oops. So there you go. This is it. So now we're going to style this one. Mm hmm. All right. So now back into the style.css. What we're gonna do is to here's the font that we will need to change, and also we need to add the background as well. All right. So let's do it. First, I'm going to do the global margin zero, margin zero box side things oops but that's one put above all right so this is it so then I'm gonna go and craft a font so here I'm using Google fonts so there's a lot of fun that you can choose so definitely check it out so what the heck? what's going on all right so here I'm going to select this one and then I'm gonna put it, oops, I'm gonna put it right here, about this one. Just import, and then I'm gonna create the root wrapper, so I call it main font, where, which I'm gonna copy this one right here. Alright, I think this is it. So now, I, we're not doing anything to it yet, so let's get started. So I'm gonna target header, so I'm gonna do the high. 100 VH and then the width is 100 pixel. Yes. Alright, so let's test it out. Background image URL, um, what is it? Home page. Yeah, home page dot PNG. Okay, now there you go. We can see. Mm hmm that's great so now we do the background repeat no repeat and then background sign cover all right that's great so now what we need to do next is to move this one into the metal so this is what I do so I'm gonna call it display flex and then justify content Center. All right. So then align item center. All right. So this I'm gonna 
get user select not yeah so now you cannot select this one cool alright so hmm I think we're almost done so now let's target the h1 let's do this the HTML I'm gonna do like fun family like the default like the, the other font is I'm using this one and then I'm gonna do the main header so we're gonna main header I'm gonna tell you take a line center everything just take a line at the center and then the main header each one I'm gonna do the font size of I don't know maybe two RAM I think three RAM would be great so then we do like fun family one main fun all right I think lock in yeah this is locking is not locking. <laughs> Oops. E yes. This is it. Go back to style on CSS. Alright, so we're almost done. <laughs> Alright, let's let's grab this color. So you can like download Chrome extension. Like so it, it it's really uh, I'm actually didn't know what this color is, so can we be, can I pick color? I think this one is, like, it's really, like, you used to pick the color, so I'm not sure what this is color is, so maybe, hmm, I think, let me check that real quick. Um, like I have this one open already. <laughs> I just don't want to look at it. So anyway, so I'm just mm, call me and grab the color. Oh no, actually, that's okay. So we can grab a color from this one. I'm gonna using this one, so you can use color picker, and then you grab the color. And then you can say the font color to be this one. Great. And then main header three, yeah, I believe. Font side to be two RAM. Alright, maybe at just one point five RAM. Mm, yeah. Two RAM to be great. Alright, great. To RAM and then we're gonna target the HR as you can see the bar right here. The HR I'm gonna set the width to be 50 pixel and margin auto so then it will go to the center and I'm gonna put in 5 pixel background color so then I'm gonna pick this color right here. Right. You can see, and then we do the border. No. Great. See, we almost completed. So, I'm gonna do the margins, tiny pixel, and this one as well. And I'm going color to be this one as well. I think it might be a little bit smaller. I think. Would go to 1.7. Okay. All right, great. Now let's target the input. Main header input. I'm gonna do the width is uh, nine, uh, 90 pixel. Great. So I'm gonna do the padding to be one rem. Mm. The margin is to be. And it picks up. So we want to and zero picks up. So just we want to 
um, this one right here outside so then we're gonna to do the border none yes so then we do the border but bottom to be one pack so solid I don't know we let's use this color okay great hmm and then we do the font size be one point three RAM all right great so then what we need to do is to set the background um transparent yeah so you can see right here so i think maybe probably we can do two and we do the outline none so when we click all right great hmm we almost finished at this one let's go to the bottom all right so button main header <laughs> all right so i'm gonna do pad in one ram and three ram great fun size should be once um one point two ram okay then i'm do the background so i'm gonna pick from this one right here Right, and then I do color to be white and border to be none and then border radius 50 pixel get nice it around all right we almost finished I feel like this one is a little bit bigger isn't it hmm I guess maybe because of this fonts and put right here I'll give it one anyway so uh -huh. yeah this is a little bit bigger but I think it should be okay this one right here maybe I can try to increase the form a little bit mm. okay great so now I think we're almost finished Cursor pointer and then main button. So when we forward this one, it's gonna transform scale 1.2. Great, but we need transitions 0 0.5. Oops, so there you go. Hmm, that's great. I think maybe this a little bit bigger, the H3. I think I'm gonna do it the 2 RAM. So, yeah. Alright, so now let's add the box shadow. So, what I like to do is to go to box um, shadow generator. It's really easy, and so what we're gonna do is to the blur right here and you can see you want probably no. I'm gonna put in the middle and you know, I like this one so I'm gonna crop it and put it back in and I'm gonna put it right here so then with main header over we're gonna do this and transition zero There you go. And I'm gonna put the margins to this one. 20 pixel. Alright. I think it might be almost the same. Yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Yes. Look this one. Look on the phones. Oh. Great. Awesome. We'll look on this big spot right here. Great. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, maybe there's not something. Else. Oh, okay. There's outline right here. Oh no. So we need to change the outline to none. Hmm. Love. Ba ba ba. Great. Right. I think that pretty much it. I guess. Yeah. I think. Yeah. This is it. So this might be a lot of bigger. But yeah, you can try to change the part in or something like that on your own. I think. I Okay, that's it for today. I hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Alright.